I'm Yana Shangyawar, and in this chapter of the Sophomore Guide to D&D 5e, we are going to look at the ability checks related to Wisdom. And they consist of Animal Handling, Insight, Medicine, Perception, and Survival Checks. Wisdom reflects how attuned you are to the world around you and represents perceptiveness and an intuition. A Wisdom check might reflect that effort to read body language, understand someone's feelings, notice things about the environment, and care for an injured person. The animal handling insight medicine perceptions valve checks reflect this aptitude in a certain kinds of wisdom checks when it comes to animal handling when there's any question to whether you can calm down a domesticated animal keep him out from being spooked or a little bit of an intuition about an animal's intentions the DM might call for an animal handling check you may also make a check to for your mount if you were riding at full gallop without paying attention for a long period of time. For an insight check, we would determine if our, the two intentions of a character, such as when they are searching out for a lie or predicting someone's next move. Doing so involves gleaning clues from body language, speech habits, and changes in mannerisms. Medicine checks, which lets you try to stabilize a dying companion or diagnose an illness. This can come in handy for other ways you can use this too. And then here comes the, one of the most important checks you'll ever make is perception checks. It lets you spot, hear, or otherwise detect the presence of something. It measures your ability for general awareness to your surroundings and keenness of your senses. For example, you might try to hear a conversation through a closed door, eavesdrop under an open window, or hear from monsters moving stealthily in the forest. Or you might try to spot things that are obscured or easy to miss, whether they are orcs lying in ambush on the road or thugs hiding in the shadows of an alley or, or the flicker of candlelight under a closed secret door. And then we have survival. You have survival checks to follow tracks, hunt wild game, guide your group through frozen wastelands, identify signs of owl bears that live nearby, predict the weather, or avoid quicksand and other natural hazards. So, you know, stuff like that. Other wisdom checks you might make when you get to see if you get some sort of gut feeling for a course of actions about to follow, or discern whether a seemingly dead or living creature is undead. And on that Reddit document, other things you might use the animal handling skill for would be influencing a wild animal, keeping control over a domesticated animal like your horse or steed, correctly interpret an animal's emotional state, or push an animal beyond its normal bounds like, you know, when you uh, hit your horse to go a little faster. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, train an animal. And then we have insight, which can be used to detect lies or evasion of one's attitudes. Combat insight, identify a tail, perceive a mental domination or charm, you understand subtle messages, and guess a character's social skills or attributes. But you might want to, might want to discuss that with your DM first. And then we have medicine, which would help us with stabilizing a creature. This was a DC 10, or if you have a medicine pouch, you don't have to make a skill check at all. This can diagnose an illness or poison, uh, potentially determine the cause of death, because it's, again, it's a medicine check. And then for additional uh, perception ones, we can spot of hearing hidden threats or conversations, recognizing persons or things, finding minute details, identifications of various objects and things, situations, and people, and I guess potentially a character's observable attributes. And then other examples of survival checks would be tracking, surviving in nature's surroundings, find a particular plant or animal for food or medicinal purposes, guide through around nature, natural dangerous hazards, identification of nat natural signs and predicting the weather. Future Yan is here, and if you have any other uh, curiosities or if you want to uh, give any other ideas of how to use this uh, ability check, why don't you throw them down in the comments, and if also if you have a Discord, you know, if you're a noob like me, I mean, if you're a little nervous, it's okay. If you have any comments, questions, queries, and curiosities, feel free to uh, join up or uh, comment down below, and if you have any ideas for a tutorial, let me know. Thanks.